how can you use ChatGPT to learn to code faster? Ladies and gentlemen, we are living through possibly the biggest technological revolution in the history of the human race. We're past the point of no return. ChatGPT is here to stay. It is not going anywhere. We have to learn to live with it. So for each individual among us, the thing we need to do is figure out how can we use ChatGPT and all of these new tools to achieve the things that we want to achieve the most. And specifically for us in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can use ChatGPT to learn to code faster than you could otherwise. And the things I'm talking about in this video, honestly, I think are just the beginning. And there's one specific tip that I'm going to go through in this video that when I tried it, I just tried it because like thinking like, this is no way this is going to work. And when it did work and when I realized that, well, actually I can include this in the video, I just could not believe it. The first thing you can do is you chat GPT as your teacher. We always thought like, oh, first it's going to be manual jobs and all these kinds of things are going to be replaced. And only maybe like at some point in the future, it's going to be creative feels like teaching for example but it has actually been completely the opposite these are the first things that this thing is now replacing and as scary as this is if you are wanting to learn something at some point in the future you will have no other option but to use these because the people who do use them will be so far ahead otherwise so just as an example of what you could do you could literally take an entire syllabus from like a coding course or any course out there and then just feed chat gpt all the different topics in order and let it explain it to you and then you can take these explanations like copy the thing that i explained into notion or whatever note taking system you have basically just build yourself an entire curriculum like just literally let chat gpt teach all of these topics for you now of course this isn't quite yet the same thing as doing like a full course taught by a human but at the very least is an excellent supplement like let's say you learned something before you learned object oriented programming you can't really remember what object oriented programming means you could just feed chat gpt the term and like please explain it to me using python or whatever and then it would explain it to you and you'll be like okay this is what it was and you could slowly build this like knowledge bank of all the programming knowledge that you have just using chat gpt answers you don't need to just go scouring all these articles like these stack overflow articles think about which answers are good which are bad because the answers that it gives you like 95 percent of the time they're going to be very accurate and they're going to be very good explanation with like code examples all these kinds of things like in the future they're probably going to be full-on coding courses and full-on like education that is simply created by these tools by chat gpt like a fully AI generated course like you might think now that that would be insane but I think that it's almost impossible that this will not happen the next way you can use ChatGPT to learn the code fast is to use it to test your knowledge the number one most effective learning strategy that unfortunately like 95% of people completely ignore is actually testing your knowledge and like extracting knowledge out of your brain as much as possible because the way your brain works you put knowledge into your brain it doesn't quite stick if you don't use it your brain is just going to assume that it's not important and it's just going to push it out so the way i actually managed to remember almost everything i learned is i do what i call the explain to mom test so i take topics that i've learned and i imagine in my mind myself explaining that topic to my mom because that forces me to explain it very simply because until you can explain something very simply you probably don't understand it the way you can use chat gpt to help with this is you can literally tell it to give you a list of topics and a list of questions to ask. like for example you can ask it to make you a quiz about python and then it's going to make you a quiz with like some like really Really intelligent and important questions that are most important to understand about python and then for each of those topics you can in your mind go through this process trying to see if you can remember what all of these things mean and then after that you can feed that topic back to chat gpt and ask it to explain to you to basically give you the best possible answer you can get so this next method is one that i want you to be really really careful about and i want you to really understand the purpose of why we're doing this because if you use this thing wrong it could absolutely obliterate your progress so let's say you're working on a project or an exercise or you're stuck with some error or a bug and you really just can't figure out how to make progress or what you need to do to fix it in most cases and so far this has worked like almost every single time i am not joking you can literally copy paste the piece of code and ask chapit cbt what is wrong with this code and it is going to tell you what is wrong with it it's going to fix lines and it's even going to suggest things most of the time that i didn't even think of myself and of course it's not correct every single time but most of the time what this is now going to allow you to do is instead of being stuck in some bug for an hour you only have to be stuck with it for 10 minutes 
Ask ChatGPT, learn. Ha, huh, that's interesting. Make a mental note to remember that the next time. But with great power comes great responsibility because what a lot of you are gonna do now is go like, oh, don't like that. It's fine to just copy paste code to ChatGPT. Let me just do that for everything now. And you're just gonna end up copy pasting stuff without looking at it, which is sure it's probably gonna allow you to build your projects much faster. And if you do this, let me tell you, you will learn absolutely nothing. What you wanna do is spend a reasonable amount of time trying to fix every issue yourself before looking at the before you're looking at it, to really think about it, at the very least, at least understand what is going wrong. As a rule of thumb, as long as you understand every single line of code that goes into your project or your exercises or whatever you do, you are going to be fine. So use ChatGPT as your coding assistant, but promise me, use it responsibly. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about that I am super, super excited about, you can actually use ChatGPT to get a job faster, like insane, right? Well, sadly, it wasn't able to fully review my CV. It was able to, for example, improve my LinkedIn about page. I literally fed it my about page from my LinkedIn, asking to improve it. And I could not believe this, but it gave some pretty good suggestions. And I agree that it is now more effective. In terms of getting a job, the number one thing I always tell my coaching clients, for example, is that if you're not getting interviews, it's probably because of your CV. And we can talk about how to get experience, even if you don't have any internship or degree or anything like that. But there's certain ways in which you want to be writing every single one of your bullet points on your CV, specifically using these action verbs and all these kind of things. So what I did is I literally gave ChatGPT one of the bullet points from one of my client's CVs and he rewrote it in a way that is really, really effective. And of course, again, you don't just want to be making your CV by copy pasting things from ChatGPT. Like it's not yet the same thing as having your CV reviewed by a human. Everything about AI is really just about using technology to help you rather than being afraid of it. Another example of a situation where technology has really made my life a lot easier recently is when I was actually moving from London in the UK to Dubai in the UAE. There were so many documents I had to sign, like so many different steps to the process. And like, I couldn't imagine how much more complicated it would have been if like in the past, I would have had to like sign all the documents by hand. But thanks to today's technology, I don't have to do that. Today, there exist tools like, for example, Sign Now, which is this e-signature tool that simply allows me to sign all the documents for my visa with my company electronically so i didn't even have to physically be in dubai when i was going through this entire process and if you like me are in the position where you are building your own business you are going to need to sign a lot of documents there's going to be a lot of contracts a lot of hassle all of that and tools like sign now make this entire process so much easier because you can literally just use sign now's abilities to upload a pdf then create some fillable fields and then you can just invite others to fill and sign the documents by email emails with literally just like a click of a button and then you can even track the progress of who has signed it and there are like a bunch of really great tutorials on their website on how you can get started with it with any programming language that you want and then finally you can just download the fully signed document to your record and this is exactly what I do every time for example I have a sponsorship deal on this channel we agree on the terms and then we draft the document and then we just sign it using sign now electronically for example this sponsorship right now yes this is sponsored by sign now but if you are in the position where you need to be signing documents you have a business like that you should be using a tool like sign now if you don't like you're just making your life so much more difficult than it has to be so if you think sign now could be a solution that you could benefit from you can check out my link down below in the description to create your free sandbox account start building your dynamic electronic signature workflows today let me know down below in the comments which one of these four strategies you found most valuable were you surprised that you can actually do these things and you thought of these before if you're looking to improve your cv today either apply for coaching down below or if you just like some free advice right now you want to watch this video right here if instead you would like to know how you can master the python programming language in 2023 watch this video here and with that i really wish you all the success in your life programming, life, whatever your goals are. I'll see you in the next week's upload.